Ugh. <laughs> I'm frustrated, man. It's just, ugh. I got a comment today, though, on, on one of my videos, on my video that came out this morning, that was like, hey, your videos from the last few months have been great. Whatever changes you made, keep it up. You know, some, something along those lines. And hey, I really appreciate that. That that was helpful to me because, man, sometimes it's just, and it's not the views. I've talked about this a lot, uh, you know, for the videos. It's just, it's been hard. I've been frustrated because I don't feel like I've got a real mission, a real purpose uh, that I'm that I'm striving after. And I know, I know, I've talked about this before, and I, I've had some ideas. And I'm giving myself technically till the end of the year, which is coming up now to figure out a plan here, but man, it just, I guess the way that I would describe it, I'm still not on track, right? You know, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit better on track than, than I was, but it's still pretty far from, from on track, right? It's not like every day I have my plan, you know, and I have my Pomodoros and I, and I'm doing it. That's not, that hasn't been the way for a long time. <laughs> I am making these videos, which is good, right? You know, you know, unfortunately though, I'm not seeing any progress in them. And again, it doesn't mean that I need to get a lot of views on the video. It's just some kind of progress, some kind of improvement over time, you know, some kind of growth. That's the thing that is just killing me in life. You know, Tony Robbins always says, if you're not growing, you're dying. And I feel it, I feel it because I feel like I'm dying sometimes, you know, because it's like, I'm, I'm stagnated, right? I'm stagnated in terms of the YouTube channel. Okay, that, that's fine. And then, and I started making those high quality videos, but man, I was paying like $2,500 to produce a video and spending so much time on it. And it did make an impact and I got some videos that popped off, but it's still, it, it stagnated as well, <laughs> right? And then, you know, I'm doing these daily videos and, and it's stagnated, it's not really, growing I'm not seeing more views on the video I'm seeing less on unfortunately you know honestly on the daily video so I don't know maybe it'll turn around but you know but but the thing is it's like in business again same thing it's just it's about the same <laughs> not not really growing in the business side of things and again I need to figure out a plan and a mission for it as I'm, I'm shifting things around and and whatnot but bank account staying about the same fitness level it's staying about the same right I mean maybe I've gained some some weight uh, you know, so I guess I've gained some muscle and stuff, but running and, and all that stuff. It's like everything is the same. Everything is staying just the damn same and I can't break out of it, right? And, and I thought about it, you know, I could I could do this in one area of my life. I could make some fitness goals and I've done it before and, and it was a distraction when I did it before, to be honest, right? I, I trained to run some races, got in really, really good shape to do that. And then, and then what, you know, I'm too tired to actually work on the other stuff. It, it doesn't fix the other parts of my life. The, you know, really the, the business part of, of life, right? Which is, it, it's weird because it's not even about just like making a lot of money. It's about a mission, right? It's like, you know, you have a job, you have a career and you, yeah, you get paid to do the thing, but it's a lot more than that, right? That's where you're spending a majority of your time. You need something that, that you're, you're working towards that you're, you're going after. And some people, you know, will comment and they'll be like, oh, well, you know, you should just do things now. You can worry about money. You have enough money, you're, you're fine. But that's not even true. <laughs> that's not even true. I mean, yeah, if I sold my house here in San Diego, uh, I could live off of passive income. Yeah, I, you know, I have enough money to live off of passive income. Sure, that's, that's true. But that's not the case right now with the house, with the stuff that I have. You know, I have to pay bills and, and stuff like that. And then the other thing about it too is it's not just about that. It's not just about, uh, you know, it, it's about like keeping the score. It's about having something that you're you're growing towards. And if you're just doing stuff and you don't care about a business actually doing what a business functions to do, which is to grow and serve more people and make money, then you're not really doing much in the business aspect, right? Yeah, I'm enjoying making these videos and I am focused 90% artist, 10% entrepreneur, but uh, but yeah, you know, I, I've got to have a, have something that I'm, <laughs> that I'm working towards. And that's what I'm trying to figure it out. You know, it's like, I, and, and again, I, I think that it's going to be around mindset and philosophy, you know, philosophical mindset, transformation content for men. I think that's really, really where it's going to be, but you know, how does that actually look? It's so weird because I think the problem also is, is that, you know, I, I'm not starting from scratch. I have this big base, right? I've got these YouTube channels. I've got these websites. I've got these Google drives full of shit, right? And Instagram accounts and stuff like that. And it's like, 
you know, if you're just starting from scratch, you just start a new thing and you and you start creating that thing. But it's 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 maintaining these things. You know, it's, what are you just going to drop all the things, right? I mean, eventually I'm going to drop this YouTube channel and create a new YouTube channel <laughs> because unless this really starts to take off, right, with the daily videos, I mean, maybe I'll just keep doing the daily videos on there, but on here. But you know, I, I need to. What I really want to do is to start focusing on doing my own edits and getting editing in place, and then. Once I have that in place and I can speak authentically to the camera and create my own edits and, and create what I really want to, then I think I'm going to create a new channel and just start creating content on there that'll be focused on the mindset and philosophy stuff. But yeah, I'm still working on kind of the stoic channel, making videos for that. But uh, I'm not even sure, like if the letters to this list, if the ones that I'm reading and doing the commentary on, if they're so good, <laughs> it, it's weird, you know. I, I lose the ability to 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 talk <laughs> well and, and the thing is like and again i know what i need to do right you know this is just a rant so so bear, so bear with me or, or turn it off it doesn't really doesn't matter like i don't really care about ranting anymore because there's so views <laughs> so few views on the videos that it's like you know the you guys that are watching the videos you 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 want to hear what i have to say about this anyway because you're you're invested you care about this i appreciate you guys but, but yeah, so I mean, the thing what I need to do <laughs> is I need to get a routine, a schedule in place, right? I need to actually, you know, sit down today. In fact, what's it? It's about nine o'clock. So I got plenty of time today. I, I think I got maybe one or two meetings today, but I need to sit down and I need to just plan out what does my routine look like, right? And follow it, right? I need to be like, and I do have it to a degree on my calendar, but I need to have it a lot more planned out, even what I'm going to eat. And I, and I sort of have a plan for that, but I need to really just codify that, put that down, and then really start doing it, right? And if I do that, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get some momentum back, and I'm gonna start to make some kind of growth, some kind of forward progress that I'm gonna feel. And even if it's not really tangible, it's like when you're doing the right thing over and over again, you feel like you're you're doing something, like you feel that kind of growth. Maybe it's just an internal discipline growth that, that you feel. But once I do that, then what will happen is I'll be excited. <laughs> and when I'm excited, I'll have a lot of stuff to talk about. When I have a lot of stuff to talk about, I'll be able to turn on the camera and talk to the camera, right? And you can see even in this video, when I start talking about the stuff that I know <laughs> that I I become more animated, it becomes easier for me to talk. I become more authentic in, in the video. So. That is what I need to do. That's that's the thing that I need to do is I need to, to do that and, and sit down and really plan out a strategy, whatever that, that plan is gonna be. You know, I'm, I'm almost like afraid to do it. I need to just sit down, <laughs> not distract myself, not let myself do anything else and just really think about what do I wanna create, right? And so maybe that is new accounts and new channels and stuff and, and dropping the old stuff. It's just hard because if I wasn't making money, if I didn't need to make money in order to pay bills, then I would be a lot more inclined to just start over and drop the, drop the stuff. And maybe that's what I just should be doing because, you know, I have several friends now that have done this <laughs> and they have passed me up big time, which, which is good. It's good for them. I'm not, you know, it's just, it's weird. Again, I talked about this in one of my other videos, but it's, it's so weird to see people shooting by me <laughs> when I've been doing this for a long fucking time. Uh, and it's because I'm stuck on the same crap, you know, it's, it's because I'm, I'm not starting over, right? Because I don't want to let go of what I have. That sucks, man. I remember going to a freaking Elliot Hulse seminar, non-jobs, this non-jobs thing that he put on in, in Tampa. What was that? Like 10 years ago, something like that. And I asked him, <laughs> it's like, how do you let go of, you know, cause at that time I had simple program and I was struggling with that and, and the stuff that I was doing there and I wanted to do something new. And I was like, how do you let go of the thing and start something new? And, you know, and I didn't really get a good answer <laughs> because there isn't really a good answer. You know, I, it, I read a book by Matthew McConaughey called green lights. Fuck. Well, I read that book maybe a couple of years ago and that's the answer too right? It's like, and I'll tell you this, but am I going to do it? I don't, it's fucking hard, you know, but in the, in the green lights book, it talks about Matthew McConaughey and how he was being cast in these roles as this, you know, love interest 
always the same role and he didn't want he wanted to be more dynamic as an actor he did not want to do this this role they kept on putting him in these these stupid rom-com type of situations and so what did he do is um you know he basically shut down everything his production studios everything and he was like no <laughs> he, he turned down millions of dollars of 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 work they were basically going to blackball him in the industry right and then he did some stupid dragon dragon heart movie or something like that dragon quest or whatever and shaved his head <laughs> pissed off so many people you know and then he made his own movie his uh what was that movie gold or something fool's gold or not fool's gold, was, uh, what i think it was gold or where he was this like drugged out gay guy with aids and stuff and uh you know a low budget film and it, it ended up being uh, you know, wildly popular, but, but then he built himself up as, you know, this, this, the new version of himself that, that he wanted to become and he became successful, but he had to let go of all of the, the old stuff. And that's hard. I mean, I'm not going to let go of the bulldog mindset brand, but, but maybe it is time to just completely reboot it, you know, just completely start over with it, <laughs> with the videos, with the content, with the direction, with the products clean out those Google drives, archive them all, archive all the Dropbox folders, <laughs> pretend like I'm starting over from scratch. But the scary thing about it is, you know, where, what about the, what about the income? <laughs> you know, and yeah, it's not like I don't have enough runway. I mean, I, I have enough savings and some passive income that comes in that, you know, I, I could, I could make it for six months without probably making a, a dime as long as that's a little bit frugal but it's it's uh it's scary to let go of of what you've built so i don't know maybe i'm talking myself into it but it, it's it's what it's a battle i've fought for a long time and it, it is really one that i fought for a long time and i've i've never been able to fully ex even when i started bulldog mindset i was still holding on to simple programmer I still have Simple Programmer. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of money. Uh, it's mostly my book sales, but I, I've got a guy that's going to potentially take that over and, and start try, trying to grow that. But it, it is, uh, it, it's tough. It, it's tough. So, yeah, I've been struggling. <laughs> you know, I, I'm doing better, you know, than when I made that video, but it's still a struggle. It's still a struggle. You know, it just, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to, you know, have something that I know what I'm working on, know the schedule, know the routine, get up in the morning, go and do the thing, see the progress, seeing the growth, like the growth is the thing, right? Even like I did this Black Friday sale, you know, this last week and I sold a bunch of the, the Well That Never Runs Dry programs. I think I sold like nine or, or 10, something, something like that, you know, for, for like two grand each, which you know, it's, it's, it's decent money. It's not a huge amount of money. It's a, you know, it's a big discount because it normally goes for $5,000, but, um, you know, I, I sold some of those and I felt good it, 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 because not just because of the money. I mean, it was nice to be able to pay for the MacBook pro and not have to worry about it because I, I bought a new laptop, which I'm excited about that. But, um, but it was, it was that feeling like something is happening. <laughs> like there's some growth, like I was able to make something happen <laughs> and I haven't felt that for a long time, you know? And that's, that's the thing is that that's what I'm, I'm really seeking is I want to be able to feel like I'm making something happen. And, uh, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> I think it might be time to clean out the clean, clean the ship. <laughs> clean everything, scrub everything. Maybe that's what I need to do before the end of the year is just like reset everything, clear it all out, right? That's what I'm trying to do with my brain kind of with the with the psilocybin, with the mushroom stuff. And I need to really do a big trip, honestly. Uh, I know some people are like, no, don't do that, John. But no, I, I do really. Like I, I know where I'm at with it and and I need to do a big trip so that I really reboot the brain, clear out the stuff there. So I've been kind of, you know, dosing and trying to, you know, but it, it's weird. Like I can take a lot and I don't, I don't see a lot. <laughs> I get very large or very, my insight becomes opened a lot, but I don't have a very large effect, like hallucinogenic effect or anything from that. So I don't know if that's something strange about me. Uh, I guess we'll find out, you know, when I, 
uh, go for for bigger dosages of it. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess that's it. I guess that's all that I have to rant <laughs> today. Thanks for for listening to me. And you know, if you guys have got some insights or advice, I'm I'm always out, open to hear that. But yeah, I just really want to have like one thing that I'm creating that I believe in that I can uh, you know promote and and uh, help people with right because there's a lot of things that I, that I want to do but I think it's really like a transformational thing and let me run this by you guys like would you would you buy I mean if I reboot the bulldog mindset membership which I'm planning on doing I think that's that's the plan and I mean I'm probably gonna make the price point honestly like a hundred bucks a month right but I want to make it worth a hundred bucks a month so it would be on like the school platform and it would be I'd be creating weekly bulldog mindset videos like I did before but we'd take you know but really well thought out lessons uh you know to help you to transform your life in, in various areas you know obviously there'll be a community in the school uh thing and, and we would do still the monthly monthly calls on that but the idea would be to make the community a lot more stronger and and just to produce a lot more you know quality content and stuff that um that i find valuable and interesting and in, in lessons to, to teach you guys uh for everything you know for, for everything in life and navigating life as a man and then let's say that i had a 12-week transformational program okay this would be a higher ticket more expensive thing it might be somewhere between five to ten thousand dollars but i would be teaching the course myself 12 weeks it wouldn't be just an open q a it would be something where i have a curriculum and it's a 12-week progression and we go through various areas of your life right uh Nikhil, when i was talking to him captain sinbad he talked about that he's like yeah you know john you're really like bulldog mindset like you're really about helping men overcome these the three biggest insecurities the three fears that all men face and i was like yeah that's actually the video that did the best on my channel so so that would be basically what this 12-week program would be is to like conquer these these insecurities i would like to have a live component of it not like an in-person component like it, it would be live It'd be like maybe one or two calls per week maybe two calls per week right and there'd be specific lessons that go along with it and uh and we'd you know we'd work on these these areas of, of your life like together to like put you through this progression of 12 weeks at the end of the 12 weeks you would be transformed right you'd be physically mentally uh relationship wise transformed and and you know um and that would be the, the goal is like this personal inner transformation that would happen and um uh, and, and and you'd have the, the the things to overcome these these fears. So that's kind of the what what I'm thinking for the plan. And so and the only way that you would get into this this program, you know, well, I mean I won't say the only way, but the main way that people would get into this 12 week program would be through the membership. Members are in the membership, and then want to take things to the next level. So you know I wouldn't have like necessarily a sales team. It would be just me giving you the offer. So, yeah, I don't know. That, that's kind of where I'm leaning. That's, that's, that's where, where I'm thinking about this, this kind of stuff. So, and I feel like that would be something that I would enjoy, that I could really create a lot of value if I was just focused on, obviously I would create the YouTube videos here, but all of it would be kind of leading towards the membership. That's what I would be pushing is the membership uh, because that's where I would have like the longer you know, videos on, on the specific things that, that that I'm teaching. And then the 12 week program would be kind of the next step from there. That would be like, okay, this is a, 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 a program that you're undergoing to really transform your life with a group of guys that you're gonna be in there for 12 weeks, you know, meeting twice a week and, and, and talking about a lot of deep stuff. That would that would be kind of the plan. And then I, like I said, I think that that would be, you know, that's what I like doing. You know, we talk a lot about philosophy. <laughs> we talk a lot about mindset. We'd focus on that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. That's it. All right, just see you tomorrow.